the Radford house, excitement is in the air. Can I have the scissors? Today there's another birthday and it's a big one. <coughs> Are you OK there? Uh, yeah. But the problem with throwing a great party is you have to do it 22 times a year. Since Noel and Sue started their family, they celebrated a whopping 360 kids' birthdays. The kids' birthdays for us are always important days. It's their special day. Whatever they want to do, then we'll try and do that. Happy birthday! Like Ellie jumping out of a plane for her 16th. That was, yeah, that was, that was a new one on us all, to be honest. Just because we've got a lot of children doesn't mean that... We shouldn't celebrate them exactly. any differently, should we? It's Ellie's turn again. No one show Ellie this. And this time she's turned 18. I don't feel 18, and I definitely don't look 18. I still look like a 13-year-old. My God, this is the 10th, 18th we've had. There have been some big birthdays in the past. Yes. Right, you ready? Yeah. But this time Ellie wants something more straightforward. Skydiving for my 16th was wild, but just give me the money and the nice dress this year and I will be happy. I love your hair like that, it's really nice, isn't it? A dress fit for a big birthday deserves to be seen. So it's snapped by Sue and uploaded to Ellie's Instagram. Okay. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's one of the nicest I've ever worn. Love it. You've got to look good on your 18th, don't you? Cheers, Ellie. You're only 18 once, so you know, you've got to make it memorable. Can I get pink gin, lime, and lemonade? Could I have a moretti? I might get a cocktail. Does alcohol like bother you, Josh? I'm a man of God. <laughs> He's trying to look like Jesus with that beard. A good gust of wind, and that'll disappear. <laughs> right, bottoms up, everybody. Cheers, Ellie. We didn't realise that anything was wrong at first. We just thought that she'd just gone to the toilet. It's been gone a while, hasn't it, Shane? But after half an hour, we realised that she'd left. Something was really wrong. You don't up and leave your 18th birthday, do you? So what happened last night, Ellie? I kind of had my night wrecked because of some hate comments on the picture of my birthday. Saying what? She said, so much better natural and not so skinny. That looks stupid with all my makeup on, my dress, my heels. And then I got comments on my body, and there was other ones, but I deleted them. Trolling is something the whole family have had to get used to. We have suffered with, like, abuse for, like, how many children we've had. You're too young, now you're too old. You can't afford your children. Anything they can think of, they'll try and have a go at you. And we're adults, we can deal with it. When it's aimed at your kids, it's a whole new kettle of fish, isn't it, when somebody's like Ellie is getting abused. It's not acceptable. Ellie is a person with feelings. That has affected her. And it makes me feel really angry. She's 18. Just wrong. So this is the walker's new little one, little Evan. We've not even seen Evan yet, so I think it would be a really good idea to invite the walkers down and then we can have a good catch up. The walkers are definitely one of the few people in the country that know what it's like to have a big family. Hi, right, buddy, how are you doing? Is a little man sleeping through for you or not? We are really close because they do understand the pressures that come with a big family. So it is lovely to be able to look out for each other. They're always there for advice, yeah. vice versa, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Them first nappies are just the worst, aren't they? But you're used to it. All right, why? What's up? What's going on? Oh, you're joking, Jamie. But Jamie and Rebecca are having to deal with something more serious than a newborn. It's Sophie, cancer's back. Oh, Jamie, Jamie, I'm so sorry to hear that, mate. So when we went for the radiotherapy appointment yesterday, our consultant said, I've just had a quick look at the scans. She said there is a new area. Then I think it looks like tumour. <laughs> so they're now concerned that it's maybe more aggressive than they thought. Sophie was absolutely devastated. So after that, we just felt defeated. You're thinking, I don't know, maybe we're just clutching at straws. What's the plan for this, if they said? No plan, mate. And that's really not what we want. No. 
Like, I genuinely do not know what the future holds. Wow, what a pretty view. Like, not too obvious, yeah. By the end of the day, you know, we did have a bit of a laugh and made them all smile, and we all had a laugh together. So that's the whole idea of this week away, just try and relax and chill out a bit and, yeah, take the mind off it, I guess, for a little bit. This trip has been a welcome distraction for the walkers. There you go. Right, there we go, now we're cooking. You know, when you look at Sophie and she's so positive, I'm just laughing and joking, and you would never even think that anything is wrong. She's so incredible with how she deals with everything that's thrown at her, she really is. She's a total inspiration. Oh yeah, she? absolutely, she really is. She's an absolute rock, isn't she? Yeah. You were willing to, to try anything. She's such a good person, you know. It's... <laughs> Hopefully, there's things that still can be done for her, and we can, you know, she can keep battling on, and eventually get rid of the damn thing. <laughs>